Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, we have some great news for Samsung Galaxy S23 series owners. We now have access to One UI 7.0 beta. You can see it right here. If I go to my settings, if I go all the way down, if I tap on software update, here it is, download and install, which we are gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you guys all the new features. Now I do wanna show you real quick that this thing is massive. It is nearly 4.6 gigabytes. It's got the latest security patch. And you can see if I tap on all the changes, we just have so many changes here, top to bottom. This is the longest change log I've seen in a while. It's gonna make your phone much more powerful. So let's install this and we're gonna go over every single feature one by one. Tap on install and there we go. All right, so we are back with the update. You can see we've got a beautiful welcome sign. That's what you're gonna see. And then you tap on start and it might ask you to tweak a couple settings and then you can go right into the home screen. So you can see it talks about Galaxy AI. All right, I'm gonna tap on next. All right, and then it says instantly access notifications and quick settings. We're gonna show all that to you guys. You're all good to go. Tap on home. Now before I break down every feature, just wanna quickly show you guys how to get the update in case you don't know. What you do is you go to your members application, all right, that's the Samsung members application. You go inside, and then once you're in the members application, on the top you're gonna to see some banners, and you're supposed to swipe over till you see this guy, you tap on it, and then you tap on the photo, and at the bottom, it's gonna say enroll. Because I am already enrolled, mine says withdraw. So you tap on enroll and then you go to your settings, software update, you, you will get the update very, very quickly. So let's dive in and look at all the features, guys. All right, the first thing, we have the brand new control center, the quick panels and all that. You can see we have an expandable quick panel right over here, which is great. We have a volume and a brightness slider right here. And let me also play some music so you can see the music controller. So just play some music. You can also see the now bar. I'm gonna come to that as well. But if I pull this down now, here's my music controller right here. If I tap on it, it goes into my actual application. But I can control everything right from here, as you can see, absolutely beautiful. Now, I wanna show you guys, when you expand the quick toggles to edit these guys, you tap on the edit button right here, and then you get this option and then you tap on edit right here, okay? And then you can remove quick toggles that you do not need, or from the bottom here, you can add the ones that you do need, all right? So that's great. When you tap on done, that's the one you are gonna get. You can also press and hold to change the order of your quick panels, okay? Just so you know, which is great. So you can have the music controller on the top, and everything else at the bottom, it's all gonna be up to you. Let me just bring that here just to show you guys. Tap on done, okay, and now you have the new controlling order, which is great. Also, if I tap on edit, I am able to go to panel settings and make modifications to my panel settings. Right now, I have it set to separate. So that means if I'm out here, and if I pull down from the corner, from the right corner, that gives me the quick panels, and if I swipe down over here, that gives me all my notifications, and you can see I also get my music player here on top of the notifications. That's great as well. So that's fantastic. Let's go back here, tap on edit, go to panel settings, and then you can do together, and that's what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to pull it down once, get your notifications, pull it again, and get your quick panel. Fantastic, all right? Let's look at the now bar. So if I go to my settings right over here, and if I go into my lock screen and AOD, I have the brand new now bar. I tap here, I have all these options that I can enable. So all my now bars are now enabled. Let me launch several at the same time. You can see the music is still playing. If I tap it, it brings up the music player. Let me add a couple more. So let's go to clock and start a timer. I just want you guys to see how it works. So let's do 59 minutes. So now we have a timer running. When I pull this up, it's also gonna go to the top. That's the now bar. If I tap it, 
I can flick between different now bars, all right? Now, most now bars are going to be this size, but the music now bar is going to be larger, which is the way I like it. So that's great. We also have this at the bottom here, which may or may not be necessary. This might be a bug. I'm not sure. I like it, okay? But it's also available right here when I'm running the timer. You can see them both right here. Now, with the now bar, it also extends to your lock screen. So if I lock this phone and go to my lock screen, and then you can see the knob bars over here. Again, I can flick through the music player and the uh, timer that is running right now. But I do want to show you, if I tap on them, they do expand. And with the music player, I get a beautiful uh, controller. You can see play and pause, and I get the uh, album art right here. So that is absolutely great. Okay, now when I go inside, look at this. I can tap on these guys and I can swipe them away as you just saw. Now because there's a bug, the music player disappeared. So you can see all the now bar situations right there. Again, if I go to my, let's cancel this one over here. So let me just delete the timer. Go back to settings, lock screen AOD, now bar. Again, you can disable and enable any features that you don't want to see at the now bar. Currently, this is all that is available. They'll be adding more. So if you look at the animations, ultra smooth as usual. One UI 6.0 was also very good, but this is even better. There is a new amazing feature that I love. So let me just quickly show that to you. Here's a folder. Let me just grab this folder and put it right here for a second. Look at this. Now you can have large folders. So if I tap, I can say enlarge. And that is my larger folder, and I can see more. And look at this. If I tap a regular folder, it first expands, and then I select an application. But now, I, can, I don't have to do that. If I want to go into an application here, I just tap on the app, boom, go straight into the application. Okay, so I can have these larger folders, which I'm really digging, and I think you're going to too. We also have a brand new home screen customization settings area that looks different with a few extra enhanced features. Tap on settings and look at this. We have this beautiful graphic here. I can change the app size of my apps. This is the default. That's small and that is large. It's going to be up to you. And also, we do have a beautiful new landscape mode that I love. So look at this. Here's the regular mode. Look at the landscape mode, how nice it looks. Look at that much better than before, clean, cohesive, organized, love it. So that's the brand new landscape mode, works everywhere. Even if I go to my settings, for example, look at this. Boom, beautiful. Now when I pinch the screen and go to my widgets, you can see we have a new widget style area. So when I bring up any widget, when I expand one of these widgets, let's just uh, pick one over here, like the device care, First, it'll give you the brand new list view. It says we have one widget, but then it gives you all the different sizes available right away. Two by one, two by two, four by one. So I can grab any one of these and just dump them on the screen. Let me just go to the next screen. Boom. And you can easily resize them to your specifications. So that's that. Let me show you one more thing. And again, if I go to clock, for example, it says we have four clock widgets. When I tap it, Here's the first one, that's the alarm with all the sizes. Here's the analog clock with all the sizes. Here's the digital clock with all the sizes. And here's the dual clock, okay? So they have revamped the way this looks and I think it looks so much better. Gallery widget, as you can see. Again, let, let's look at some more Samsung widgets, the music one over here. Okay, so I can have this up here, resize it, and I got my music widget. So definitely love the new widget layout, and I do like how they're even more rounded now, which gives it a nice, smooth appearance. Very smooth overall, by the way. We also have a brand new app drawer. So when I go to my app drawer, we have several options. This is the usual option that we have side by side. Now when I tap on this button, I can go to sort, and I can do alphabetical, and then I get the vertical view, as you can see, with all my apps in one place, and I get a nice bar on the side. As I swipe on the bar, you can see I can pick specific letters. 
So if I'm looking for a particular app, let's say with P, boom, I'm right there. Here's my apps that start with the P on the top. Same thing if I go up for the, uh, let's say M, boom, we've got all my M's on the top. So you can change the app drawer, that is great. Another great feature, we have the brand new battery indicator. And look at this, I can go to my settings, I can go over to my battery, all right, and then if I scroll down, I can change the percentage. So if I tap on this, the percentage disappears, I just get a pill, okay? That's gonna be filled as much as battery life is remaining. Of course, most people prefer this, so it says 93, which is great. We also have a brand new feature in the battery. So if I go over here, I have the brand new battery protection enhanced, okay? So I can go to basic, I can go to adaptive, as you can see, or I can go to maximum protection, and that gives me this new slider where I can individually limit where I want the charging to actually stop at 80%, right here, 85, 90, or 95. I recommend 90, that should be fine for maximum protection to increase the lifespan of the battery if you're gonna keep this phone for a long time. So that's another new feature. We also have a brand new camera interface that I really like, so let's launch the camera, okay? So you can see everything is now a little bit different. We have the shutter button above the actual modes, and you don't see a settings button. You have to tap this guy, which expands, gives me some quick settings, and then if I want to go to the settings for that mode, I tap on settings, and here I am. And if I go out, let's say I go to video, again, I can tap this, and I can go to my settings, all right? And that's gonna take you to your video settings. Now, if I tap over here, you can see we don't have the log video option. The S23 Ultra or any S23 simply doesn't support that because the processor is not that capable. Now, it's a, it's a powerful processor, just not strong enough for the log option that you get on the S25 and the S24 with One UI 7.0. Now, look at this. If I go to my photo, we have this option here, okay? Watermark can be turned on and off right here now. We have several quick options on the top. And then again, if you want to expand and access everything, they're going to be right here. I like this, okay? So look at this. I can choose 50 megapixels or I can do it from here. I like that we have it on the top and the bottom. And I like that this is small. So that's that. Overall, nice refreshed interface. Now I do want to show you guys, let me go back to 12 megapixels. I do have this nice exposure button right here that I can use on the fly anytime I want to change the exposure of a photo. Additionally, there is a new feature. If you go to the settings and if you go over to composition guide right over here, now we are able to add a grid line and a level. Previously, it was just grid lines. Now I can add a level to make sure that my photo is level. So these are the grid lines. In the middle, we now have a level. You're not gonna see it here, but you're gonna see it when you're taking a photo. So that's the camera, new interface, a few new features. Now there is a change to the AI interface in the keyboard. So if I go over here, and if I tap on my intelligence button, I get a nicer looking AI interface. That's for the chat translation. That's for spelling and grammar. If I type something, I can check the grammar spelling. I can change the writing style and I can use the composer. Let me just write something. So let me show you now real quick. If I tap over here, look at the difference in animation. So if I tap on this, I get this now, okay? So again, it, the, the functionality is the same, but the interface is slightly better. It's a little bit more like the actual iPhone, okay, iOS. So look at that. I like that, okay, nice and organized. Now, I will mention that most of the settings screen here is basically the replica of One UI 6, okay? So there's nothing new here uh, at, a, at, a, at a normal glance. It's all the same. If I go to Galaxy AI, it's all the same features, but there are some enhancements to my Galaxy AI. So if I bring in my edge panels, you can see now I have these new features. In fact, I get a quick summary right here when I pull this in for the first time. I do have the AI Select, Sketch to Image, and Interpreter. So if I tap on AI Select, look at this. I have this option here. This is new. I can select anything on the screen, and then it's gonna give me all these options. You can see that's the new interface. 
Uh, I can access even more options from here. You can pause and read all these options. I can do sketch to image, set as, as a wallpaper, the area that I select, and then I have all these features to save, share, copy, pin, and more. Pin is this right here that pins the area that I just selected to the screen. I can keep doing other stuff on the side, okay? Tab, X, and that's gone. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video, guys. These are some of the best features, the new features with One UI 7.0. Makes your phone so much better because of the extra features. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.